So my name is uh, Dr. Lip Hobson. I'm a deputy of the Flow Corps at the Francis Crick Institute in London. Francis Crick Institute has a large range of different research interests, uh, ranging from immunology, infection, DNA repair, cancer, neurology. Uh, so it's quite a wide ranging things that are going on uh, using many different uh, model organisms. The core at the Francis Crick has uh, two Hyperion and two Helioses. Uh, one of the Hyperion Helios is used for a clinical trial and is running 24-7. We got that February this year, so February 2019, uh, and it's literally not been turned off. So it's just constantly running. The two complement each other really nicely. The Hyperion really is a paradigm shift in what you can do in histology. I mean, typically people are running one or two colours if they're doing DAB and H&E, or in fluorescence they're doing maybe four or five. Specialist labs are maybe going up to 10. The fact you can do 35 or 37 very easily, all at the same time, is just, you know, unbelievable. Because it has no fluorescence, you really don't have the autofluorescent background that you see in a lot of tissues. So things like brain, liver, bone marrow are highly autofluorescent. When you're using fluorescent technologies to look at them, to image them, you have a high amount of background. The Hyperion allows you to really just get rid of that uh, so you get a much cleaner signal in that regard. So I think it's really useful to do just for the multiplexing, the imaging and the lack of fluorescent background. The fact that you can get spatial resolution, it's that spatial information that's critical. People want to see what's happening in their tissue of interest. A picture tells a thousand words. If you've got a tumour, you can see where the stroma is, the tumour margins inside the tumour, all the different cell types that are in there. The Hyperion is uh, a really easy instrument to use. The methodology for staining is very similar to a typical immunofluorescence. On the Hyperion that's running 24-7, we're running tissue matrix arrays and literally a slide with all the TMAs will run five, six, seven days at a time before we then load another one up and run that. I think IMC has really kind of revolutionized the way we're approaching histology. I like that we can look at so many parameters at the same time. The segmentation is tricky, but that's the same with all imaging. But what it does give you is it allows you to look at a massive holistic view of your tissue of interest see where lots of different things are, look at your different phenotypes in great depth. And I think that just offers so much information. It's not just the phenotypic data you get from single cell, but it's the spatial, and then where things are in relation to each other. And just that amount of data is just massive.